Right, so this is an idea I came up with mm-hmm. from watching like some D and D stuff. Okay. And because our D and D stuff, like, it takes forever because of battles and dice rolls and shit. It does. This is just completely improvised storytelling RPG. <laughs> okay. It sounds like really dramatic. So I'm gonna throw you in somewhere and then you'll you'll basically have to Oh my god, I know what this is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm real scared. You'll basically have to make choices. Okay. I'm excited. Right, and yeah. I'll tell you whether or not it works. Who's going first? Like that. Me or Dan? Uh, both together. Okay. But one of you has to start because you're starting separate. Oh, this is, I'm so excited. What I'm going to do, I'll give you a little bit of outline about the world. Okay. And then I'll just jump straight to one of you. Who wants to like start? Dan. When Hashtag Sean start. does it first. Right, you go. Right, okay. You are playing as yourselves in your own houses. Oh, we're so fucked. God damn it. Right now you're in your own houses. The reason this works so well is because you live, like, a road apart. Yeah. Okay. So it's perfect for storylines. <laughs> okay, we, so. IRL we do. We, yeah. We and Dan live very close. Uh, you're both in your own houses. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll start with Sean. Okay. You wake up. I do. At uh, eight in the morning, maybe. Mm-hmm. And there's nobody in your house. All right. Uh, you can hear some helicopters tack, tack, flying tack. overhead. Got it. Kind of a distant... <laughs> What a good helicopter. Keep going, keep going. It's a dick helicopter. Yeah, Yeah, you hear the helicopters and you can kind of hear like people's voices really far off. But there's nobody in your house. (laughs) Yeah. And you notice that like it's it hasn't been touched at all. It's a normal day. Okay. Um but if you wanna maybe look out of a window or something. Yeah, yeah, I'll look I'll look out my window. Right. What window? I'll look out the front. Uh, the it's the back window out to my back garden. Okay, so out of your bedroom window, yeah. back garden, yeah. uh, you can see a couple of guys in the gardens like opposite yours. Oh, shit, Hassan, no. In the garden. <laughs> yeah? Just kind of like stumbling around. Oh. Stumbling? Yes. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm going to watch them for a little bit, see what they do. Okay. I don't want to go out there. There's stumbling men. They could so, be drunks. Yeah. There's, a, there's only it's one. In the garden, there's, there's one person in each garden in two different gardens. Oh, They're not shit. together. Oh, okay. And um, one of them kind of walks up to the garden fence closest to you. Yeah. On your side. Yeah. And he, he disappears, obviously, because he's behind the fence. So you can't see him in your view. Oh. And you kind of hear him, like, tapping in, into the fence, walking into the fence. Oh. The other guy walks towards his back garden door. Yeah. And it's kind of like banging on the window. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Um. What do you think's happening? Well, I mean. Uh, Based on your extensive fiction knowledge. Fucking zombie apocalypse, man. Like, right. fucking scared. If they're just like bumping into fences, knocking into things. Like, I don't know, at what point in real life would you. See shit that was happening in zombie film, like you see, saw people like sort of stumbling down the road. What and then legit think zombies? Yeah, like, um, well, imagine, but, imagine it's you IRL, right now. In IRL, real life. would you or yeah. would you be like you'd think, oh, they're drunk or something? Well, no, I'd shit my pants anyway. I probably wouldn't be thinking that they're zombies. I'd think there are men, you know, doing weird stuff. I want to defend myself. So what I'm going to do is, can I go downstairs and get something? I want to defend myself. Yeah, Just, I'm scared, right? Um, I'm not going to allow you to have everything that's in your house. I'm just going right. to give you some stuff. All right. Can I, I want to go down. You, you have uh, two backpacks. Yeah. Um, I do. You can fill both of them up with other stuff in the house. But if you have both of them, you'll be slowed down. I just want one. Okay. My backpacks are all right size. All right. Look out for me. Yeah. So you take one backpack. Um, you've got uh, kitchen utensils. Good. You've got food and water. Knives and forks, chopsticks, water. Cutlery. Yep. And your garden shed is full of like uh, saw blades and crops. Yeah, my dad's an engineer, so I'm I'm pretty stocked on yeah. that. He, the amount of shit he's stolen from work. So it's it's one backpack, but Cut it's that. kind of like a um, like my uh, big skate. Yeah, a hi- hiking backpack. Yeah. So it's it's bigger than normal. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Well, I'm still pulling my pants, but obviously, first port of call is to give Dan a call. <laughs> Any port in a storm. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call Dan. Right. I want to know what's going on in okay. Dan's house because I'm fucked. Dan, you you were asleep. Your phone's ringing and it's woken you up. Wait, first of all, yeah, unrealistic. Unrealistic. That's not going to wake Dan up. But anyway, yes. Yeah, so, okay, carry on. Well, you went to bed at a normal time yesterday. Okay. Mm. Hello. Oh wait. Hello. Yeah. Well, I'd have to do a voice. It's me. Hello. Yeah. Like, no, we can just have a conversation. Yeah. So, what's going on at Dan's house? Oh, so if it's you. Yeah. Talk to each other. I okay. didn't know it was you. Like you're on the phone. 
Oh, so if it's you. There are some men, okay, right. in my back garden, not in my back garden, but my two next door neighbours' back gardens. Okay. I've seen one of them stumbling into a fence repeatedly, obviously not normal, and the other one is knocking on my next door neighbours' back door, and I'm shit scared. Helicopters. I can hear screaming. helicopters, yeah. I mean, oh yeah, I can, I can hear a helicopter There's too. shit, you okay. can hear it, okay, so there's obviously shit going down. Wait, wait, where are you? I'm at my house. Um, I've got some stuff together in a what, bag. What are you doing at the moment? Well, shit in my pants. Like, I want to do something. Do you want to do something later? <laughs> do you want to do something later? Should we record drink again? Yeah, we can do. Yeah, um, should we find wait, what doing? Uh, what about these men? These men, right. I'm shit scared. I need to leave my house because I'm yeah. next. Do you come around? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you're going to dance? Yeah, I'm going to go dance. Right. Play some games. Dan, do you want to... Uh, we'll f- flick to Dan quickly before you leave your house. Yeah. Uh, do you want to, like, examine your house? Uh, see if anyone's in and... Like look out of windows. I probably should have asked you: Is anything happening at your house? Mm. Like really? So, look out your. Assuming back I didn't fall straight back asleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, just examine my house. Is anyone in? Okay. Well, your parents are at work. Where's the cat? Where's Cat's the cat? Inside the house. Good. Uh, like asleep on a sofa. Um, windows. Walls. Um, let's say you've gone downstairs. Oh right, yeah. Look, well, yeah. When I wake up, yeah, I can only see my back garden. Yeah. So you've gone downstairs, you're in the front downstairs. room. Downstairs. Great. Look out the window? Yeah, look out the window. Just to... Oh, yeah, because I guess I can hear the chopper. <laughs> okay. What's you this can chopper s- about? Yeah, you can see a couple of bodies outside on the ground in oh, the street. Oh, that's bad news bears. Fuck, mm. man. Like, missing legs and stuff. But not moving. And How the no- fuck did we sleep through this? Yeah, that's a, that's a point, I think, to myself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's because you're, um, your family you're out. We were recording drink again the night like, before. Meta. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, there's, shit. there's nobody to, you know, wake you up. Helicopters aren't that loud. Nobody's been banging on your doors. So you just slept through that. Great. Uh, I'm going to ring you back. <laughs> you probably should. Let me know what's going on. <laughs> okay. So what's going on at yours? Safe. Um, so, yeah, there are men. There are helicopters. You were right. Right. I swear... I never doubted you, to be fair. Like, you know, like, when we were in fucking secondary school and college, we've talked about our contingency plans for when stuff like this happens. Yeah. It was something to do with... Shit, it was like, let's... Right, but either way, that contingency plan was never a plan, so... No, and it never worked out well. It never worked out. What was it? It was like... It was oh, like, go let... to the shop. Tesco, right? Go to Sunbury Tesco. That's probably a good shout, though. Oh, yeah, shit, that is a good shout. Right, do Wait, we... no, it's not. What? No, it's totally a good shout. Supermarket. Loot. Yeah, uh, also, yeah, probably full of zombies as well. Let's go there. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, I'm all for it. Okay, I but... need to get a sandwich anyway. Do you, does your bike have... You still pay for it as well. Oh, your bike tyres pumped up. No, they're both flat. Oh, you motherfucker. That, that's honesty right there. I could say that I had a bike and everything. Yeah, mine are always fine. Okay, so you've got one bike. Mm. Do you want me to uh, give you handlebars? handlebars. Sean's you... going to Dan's. Yeah. So, Dan doesn't need a bike anyway at this point. Okay. Um, I'm gonna cycle to yours, but you can give me handlebars. Dan, you you as well. Um, you've got like a couple of backpacks um, and like tinned food and water around. Yeah, I do have that. Yeah, yeah. Grab some supplies. Do you want to fill them up, or do you want to kind of like wait out in your house? Well, we're going Tesco, so I mean, I can just get <laughs> stuff there. Yeah, three hours. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, Sean, you've left your house. Yeah. Um, there's nobody on the street, Good. but you're heading to Dan's. Okay. What way are you taking? I'm going to cycle on the road, okay? I'm going to go down to the end of school road, and I'm going to go right down Feltham Hill Road. Okay. You're not going to go down Nigel? No, no not Nigel. Uh, Gle- Glenfield. Glenfield, yeah. yeah. I'm not going down Glenfield. I'm not going through all You take some whacked out way. I swear you, like, take stupid way. What, when yeah, I go yeah. down Glenfield? Yeah, you just go down Glenfield. Yeah, you yeah. just cut straight down Orchard. No, cutting down Glenfield and then Orchard, it's really condensed. Now you're done. And it's a residential area, yeah. so the concentration of people is going to be a lot higher in, in this huge double ride main double Are you wide. assuming that there's zombie hordes in the streets now? No, but like if there are people about, they're going to be where the people is. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go where down. Where the men's at. So where you, the, you cycle yeah, down that. school road. Yep. To the crossroad. And take a right down um, Feltham Hill. You can see there's people banging on the front door of the pub. As you would. Oh, the ashtray. Do you want to just cycle straight down Feltham Hill? Yeah, I'm not going to fuck around. Them. I'm pooing stuff. Right, okay. So you're going down Feltham Hill Road. Yep. Um, just before you hit Dan's, you see in the distance down where the school is. Yeah. Uh, there is a few people just ambling over, like along the street, but they're not walking towards you, and they haven't spotted you. Okay. But they're there. That's probably the way we're going to be going to Tesco's. 
and now you're... Well, we'll talk about that when you get Oh, here. yeah. <laughs> now you're at Dan's. Okay, cool. I'm not going to knock on the door. I'm not going to ring the doorbell. I'm going to call Dan and say, uh, Dory Boros. Dory Boros. What lets itself in forever. Yeah. I text Dan. <laughs> Last time I went to Dan's, I, uh, I text him, uh, I've got a riddle for you. I said, what lets itself in again and again for all time? And he didn't answer, so I had to tell him when I, he opened the door. <laughs> I just said, Dory Boros. That would have been so funny. If you and then when I it. came here and saw you, I still hadn't read the text. So I walked in the room and you went Dora Boris. I'm like, yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> oh, just not. Anyway, I'm at Dan's. I've given him a text saying Dora Boros. He's gone down. Great. I'm um, safe. Still safe. in front of the door. Yeah. Okay. So at this point, they've started walking towards you, but they still haven't spotted you. How far away are they? Well, it was towards... Like Woodlands Parade? Yeah, towards the school. Oh, so it was about Woodlands. Closer. Way oh closer, yeah, way closer than I thought. But as it well. wasn't get at in, the school because you can't see the school from get Dan's okay, house. Okay, I'm gonna get in Dan's house. Get in. Okay. Okay. They, uh, as you kind of shut the door, you wait a couple of minutes in like silence, and um, you've seen them kind of like walk past Dan's house. Good. And okay. keep going towards the pub where there's noise going on. Okay. Good. So, I mean, what's going on? Who the fuck thought this would actually ever happen, though? Yeah. yeah. What, what a crazy That's the problem. Nobody thinks it will actually happen. What a crazy. We could just like hole up, as you know, it's an awful right, idea. You've been playing State of Decay a lot, IRL and in this world, That's I assume. True. That's true. I mean, you know holding up's probably not the best move. Long term anyway. Well yeah. Unless we can get more survivors to help us, so But I do want to go Tesco. We'll just see what's crackalacking. I kind of want to get some food. I haven't got anything in the house, really. I've got some tin food, but I want a sandwich. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. This is what I was saying like five minutes ago. You're going to not be on my team in the zombie apocalypse anymore. <laughs> this is the reason. Uh, I the, want a sandwich. The food and water that Sean's brought. Um, he's got like two or three big bottles of water. I made you a wrap. Which uh, will probably be like uh, a week's worth if you drink it carefully. Food-wise, it's probably like... I don't know, 10 tins. So uh, so that could be like 10 days of Are dinner. we assuming at this point total collapse of society? Overnight. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Real you big assumption to make, but I'm all down for it. Yeah, you same. haven't seen anyone uh, alive yet. Oh, that's oh, fair, yeah, that's true. Except for the wandering horse. Is Joe fine? Yeah, he's still inside the house. Sweet. That's fine. Um, Right. So Joe's fine. We're fine at the moment. Joe's the cat, by the way. Yeah, yeah Joe's the cat. cat. Yeah. Um, so we're going to Tesco's. I don't know if I want to give you handlebars. Why? Because... Give me handlebars, though. Eh? It's going to make us probably slower than if I was just cycling or we were both cycling. But Should also, we, like, if we go by foot, then we... Wait, are, be, you, are you going to empty your backpack at Dan's house? It could be base of operations, but is your house that good? No. No, shut up. Although, yeah, you, no... Well, you never know like what house is going to get touched. Because mm. in zombie films and stuff, there's always houses that haven't been broken into. Yeah. So we could probably hide stuff in your room. We'll, le we'll leave stuff there for the moment. Okay, we'll leave my heavy backpack in Dan's bedroom. Are you going to empty it and take it to Tesco? That's a good shout. Uh, yeah. Can I, and Dan bring one as well. Yeah, we can get like pork pies and stuff. Oh, yeah, <laughs> two empty bags. All right. Um, but we're not going to take my bike to Tesco. I'm going to put my bike around the back in the alleyway. It's going to stay there. We're going to walk Tesco. Probably going to get chored. No, that'll be all right. Mm. Anyway, off we go. Okay, so, so you, there's dudes about, right? Yeah, what what uh, they walked past your house towards the pub. Real quick before we leave. Yeah. Can, can we just grab something to like bludgeon people around yeah, there? Yeah, do with? you want to grab melee weapons? Yes, please. Cricket bat. You got a cricket bat. Got Sean. A cricket bat. Of course you fucking got a cricket bat. I'll, I'll take what, two. Dan's dad plays cricket. What would I what? Two cricket bats? You can take a cricket bat. Yeah. Do you have two cricket bats? You can have the smaller one. <laughs> okay, yeah. I like okay. smaller ones. Dex character. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, now I want it. Nah, I'm a dex build, man. I can take, like, two small ones and like, Yeah, hold dual wield, yeah. yeah. Don't uh, worry. No, it'll be very unaffected. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have cricket bats, uh, backpacks on, the empty. Yep. Leave the house. What direction are you going? Left. Left. Down towards Spellthorn School. Okay. We're going to go through BP, because it's probably not very popularised. Aided. <laughs> Popularised. Except for all of the workers in BP. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. And it's pig open area. Pig open area. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think. So are you going to walk down I'd say, to the school? I'd say take a right so we can check the, the smaller Tesco as well. Yeah. Oh, do you, do you want to hang a right as we get to Woodlands? Hang a right so if we can. Yeah, let's hang a right. Pass bargain booze. Tesco Express. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you walk up down to the school. Not down to the school, not that far. 
Yeah. Oh, you can turn right before that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Right. I have at a Wood- map for it. Yeah. We're gonna go right at Woodlands Parade. Yep. And cut down through towards where the Black Dog is. Okay, where the petrol station is. Yeah. We walk up. You know where Woodlands Parade. You know the road that goes down past Bargain Booth. Oh, where all the shops are on Stage Road West. Is that where it comes out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you go down there. Yep. You haven't seen anyone. You okay. haven't seen any bodies. Lucky, considering it's a very residential area. Wait, weren't there bodies about before? Outside your house. Yeah. Outside my house. But, Wait, they like, gone? S- no, they were there, but you've gone past them. Oh, okay. Yeah. All yeah. the way up to Stage Road West, you haven't seen anything. Fucking You've nuts. seen some cars go past at the end of the road. Wait, cars go past? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Um, along Stains Road West. I'm going to remind you at this point that I can drive if things get really bad. I've got my driving license. Yeah, you've seen a lot of <laughs> yeah, cars. Yeah, that's what you need at this point. Well, yeah. Total Collapse Society, <laughs> I, hey, I can drive a car. I've got yeah, but license. we plonk you in a car. Can you drive? Yeah, no, you right. Yeah, there you go. So you, you've seen a lot of cars just parked up that haven't been used. Uh, yeah. A lot of them will be locked and probably won't have keys inside. Also alarms if you break the windows. Yes. So you'd have to... Like, if you wanted to steal a car, you'd have to figure out how to hotwire it. I or mean, get the key. I mean, right now, I'm... Or get fun- the key. Like, yeah. let's, just, let's just take it slow. Yeah, how, how's my 3G? Um, oh, it's yeah. still working for now. Yeah, okay. we didn't try to ring I mean, anyone apart from each other. No, that's we wouldn't, would we? we don't, like, what if a zombie answered and then oh, told all his zombie friends? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. Where are, where are you, Sean? <laughs> Hello, Anne. <Ugh. laughs> you just woken up. Ugh. Okay. Well, let's assume that you called me and I didn't answer. Mm. That seems real. Because I'm narrating. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, at this I point you're about Naruto because I'm Naruto. <laughs> you're you're on Stains Road West. Okay. Um, looking right, you can see a couple of people in the distance just walking along the road. Down towards my house that way, towards BP. Yes. Okay. Uh, you see a car swing out of School Road. Okay. And hit into one of them. Oh. And it, and it speed off down towards Fullbridge Roundabout. Hit and run. Call the police. I think. Mm. Um, I ain't touching that situation with a 10 foot pole, honestly. Okay. So, are we gonna kind of start thinking? Let's hurry on our way, I think. Nah, this is zombies right now. <laughs> there are people getting zombies hit by cars. Zombies can't drive cars, though, so that dude's on our side. Hang on. Did the guy that got hit by a car get up? Not yet. Okay, let's watch him for a minute. No, okay, because if well, you watch him for a minute, nah. If you want. <laughs> I want to know. Never you... stand still. No, yeah, you, zombie you look left. Oh, I know the down towards where the black dog used to be. Yeah. Um, Ashford Road, the one that goes next to the reservoir. You see a, people, a couple of people walking along that. Mm. Um, you can't see round the black dog because it like juts out. Yeah. So you don't know what's on the other side of that building. Okay. Oh, real quick, black dog is Tesco Express. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. So <laughs> can, can me and Dan um, just to open up our field of view, give us a lot of warning if we ever get fucked? Can we walk on the central reservation? This big long oh, road, yeah. by the way, that goes down past the Tesco that we're at right now. Dual carriageway. It's a dual carriageway. So yeah. if we walk down the central reservation, we've got warning, field of view. We've got at, 360 yeah. degree. You've got yeah. like 10 feet. The, the roads are about 10 feet. Maybe way, a bit way more. Way bigger, yeah. Is it? Because it opens into three lanes. Oh yeah, it does. It's fucking huge. Yeah, so that's probably like however long. So Quite we, big. Yeah, 10 meters. Rolling down there. Anyway, we're walking down the central reservation. Can we walk up to Big Dog? Big Dog, Black Dog, Tesco. And just peer around the corner, because that's a long road down there, past Tesco. Yeah, are you looking down the road or looking at Tesco? Both. <laughs> well, yeah, as you were walking along, you look down the road. Yeah. Um, you see a car driving the opposite way from you, down towards the school. Okay. There's nothing else down that road, but as you turn and look at Tesco, you see that the windows are smashed. Uh, there's, Damn like, it. food and stuff all over the ground, but there's no one there. Hmm. Do you want to go collect shit? Let's go collect shit. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, okay, bats out, lads. Here's the spot. Let's not start, you know. Spank them. No. So we're going to move towards Tesco, smash Tesco with our cricket bats. Um, it's already smashed. No I, door's open. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going gonna to smash it anyway. Yeah, I'm going to do a stupid Sean thing. Um, can I uh, tap my bat on the glass to make a bit of noise, see if we hear anything? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to tap my bat on the glass, and then we're going to listen. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Let's go in. We're going. Great. Okay. Yeah. So you walk in. Uh, a couple of the lights are out, but some of them are kind of flickering still. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> it's light outside though, so it's not too dark inside. Okay. Okay. It's morning still. Hello. Uh, assistant. Assistance, please. Silence. Still. For assistance. Where, where's the cereal? 
You what? can see all of the tills have been broken Test. open. If a zombie answers, then you know it's a zombie. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all of the tills and self-service have been broken open. There's no notes and there's like a Look, couple of coins right. around. Why are we, how are we going to pay? Oh, shit. Sure. There's we're nobody gonna... in there. How are we going to pay? <laughs> but I they, the self-service thing still work and you've got cards with you, so... Oh, good. We can pay. Oh, great. We're not going to. No. So... <laughs> I don't have any money on my card. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I... Zombie's got it. Being shit scared and being, you know, part of drinking a game, I'm going to say to Dan, some we're going to go chug beers. a beer. We're going to go chug a beer. Just go to, get Bev. Because I'm shit scared. I'm getting paranoid. Dan obviously suffers from acute paranoia. We're going to go get... I'm going to go... I'm sure, five, I'm sure everyone does it in a zombie apocalypse. We're going to go get 500 milliliters go, of Budweiser. Go get some Gretz. Yeah, we're going to put it on the edge of the shelf. We're going to bash it on top and knock the cap off and we're going to down them. And get killed by zombies. <laughs> yeah. That's a shout, actually. Down a 500 okay. mil. You can do that. I'm yeah. not going to do that. I'm, I'm going to get the handy bottle opener because it's Tesco. Yeah, I've, I've never been in that Tesco, mm-hmm. so I don't know what the layout is. But so, I assume there's like a... As you come in, you've got fruit and Side veg. door, like manager door kind of thing. Yeah, probably. Okay. So as you're drinking, yeah, uh, you kind of like s- turn around. You notice that the door's open Bless and there's a guy standing in the doorway. Oh, but he's oh. not making any noise and he's kind of like holding a bat. Dude, dude, dun, dude, dun, dude, dun, dude, dude, dude. Shh, 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 shh. He's seen you, by the way. Dude, back, back up. Shh, dude, back up. It's <laughs> it's fine. He hasn't moved yet. He hasn't moved. Just stand still. We yeah. have. But he hasn't moved, right? And we haven't moved, so don't move. No, no progress has been made. No, we need to think about what we need to do. So we either run away, or we run away, or we run away. If it is zombies, not that many people work in that Tesco's. I'm not. Not that many people work right, in that Right, so Tesco. I haven't gone through the part where I can kill a man yet. And I don't care that it's a zombie. F bludgeoning someone to death. I'm going to run away. Come. Why would we go and kill him? We, don't... we think there are zombies. All right, let's assess him. Can I look at him, please? Can I do a perception roll no. on this guy? Okay. Yeah. I want to know what he like. Is are his eyes back in his head? Is he missing an arm? <laughs> I want to know. He's got an arm off. Give no, me a perception roll. Does he have red on him? Um, no, he's he is just a normal dude. He's got like a ripped um, jacket on, and he's holding this bat and he's kind of like staring at you, kind of backing away back into the door. All right, I'm gonna put my hands sure. up. I'm gonna drop everything I'm holding. Elmer say, friendly. Yeah, friendly. I'm not infected. I don't like. I'm gonna assume there are zombies now. I'm not infected. I'm good. So, ura, ura, ura. So, uh, me and Dan, I, I'm gonna say, you're right. We're, we're chill. You chill. You chill. Uh, he, he goes. What are you talking uh, about? Infected. What the fuck's going on? Why have you got a cricket bat? Yeah. I ask him. Yeah. Uh, he said some guy tried to break into my house when I went outside. Uh, he had disappeared and there was nobody around. So I thought I'd bring a bat with me. Right, I'm gonna tell case. him. I've seen people with legs off. There is some shit going on. Guys are hitting people with cars. Do you want to, you know, stay with us? Because, you know, safety in numbers. Also, I want to ask him how long it took him to realise that Tesco windows were smashed in when he works there. Um, He ignores your question and pulls out his phone and tries to call someone quickly. He's very frantic okay. and upset at this point because you told him what's going on. Okay. Um, you, you kind of watch him for a few seconds. Uh, yeah, I don't think we should trust him. He, he, he pulls his phone away from his ear and he's like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, sure, we might be able to trust him. <laughs> I'm going to say, it's all right, dude. We're in the same boat. You know, if you're trying to call family and stuff, that's cool. Uh, you use my phone if yours run out of battery. Uh, he says, my phone's not run out of battery. It's just nobody's picking up. All right, okay. Dan, do you want to talk to him? I'm bored of this. My wife's at work. <laughs> she works at the airport. I don't know what's happened. Oh, he throws her way away. I doubt the buses are running. Okay, dude. Uh, zombies, basically. From what we can tell. Oh, None like, of us have killed a man yet. We were actually... Well, I was talking about whether we were going to kill you. Don't jump from zero to kill a man when he's fucking fucked up. But... <laughs> he is like six foot and he's got a baseball bat. You sound like you've got your issues. But we've also got our issues. And I don't... Mm, I mean, I guess having a wife and stuff is bad for you, but... It's just... I mean, we wanted to do something today. How, do you, get, something. how do you have friends? He says, he says, fuck this. Runs back into the room, shuts the door. And you kind of hear another door open. And then silence. Nice guy. Yeah, pleasure. Right, okay, I'm going to say we just get on with our shit. I think you scared him off. 
I mean, yeah. I, I haven't he could have been guy. violent. You might have scared him, like, saying, oh, I haven't killed a guy yet. And then you just kind of looked at him with your mad eyes. This <laughs> fucking <laughs> arsehole. Anyway. I was just thinking about a previous conversation. <laughs> oh, right, he's gone. So Yeah, he, he is gone now. Salvage what we can, nothing frozen. Uh, he locked the back, uh, the side door behind oh, him. Oh, we can see if they do 40s. So, I oh, just drunk one. Y- you can tell that he's uh, already... Where um, are you? I've got Foster's gold. You do. He's already... Um, uh, you, sorry, you can tell that he works there, but he's not in his uniform because he locked the door as he left. Okay. Uh, are you going to collect Weird like situation. food and stuff? Or let's what? just get dry food. Let's get cans again. But but let's fill up probably about a quarter of our bags because we're going to the big Tesco. Oh, well, there's, going... a, there's enough food to fill up. Okay, we don't have to go to big Tesco. Uh, I just want to go back and fortify the house. I Should... think the difference between that Tesco and big Tesco... Uh, isn't in terms of food it's in terms of like uh, yeah, electronics hardware, yeah. hardware uh, like wood yeah but they hammers. don't they don't sell wooden hammers though they don't sell shit we need a home base really no no, no. Big Tesco's has like hammers and stuff yeah. they don't have solid planks of wood okay, though okay obviously right get this get we I'm take che- the food I'm back checking. to mine yeah yep we get to mine yeah we we're assuming we can't get hold of anyone Ever, yeah, and we yeah, can't well, find anyone you've we tried know. to call for people, nobody's answered. It's just me and you in this together. Yeah. I'm not entirely pleased about it either. It's together forever, no matter how long. From now until the end of time. If it was anyone else, I would have been happy. We'll be this. Together. I can't finish that song. Yeah, okay, right. So okay. we do that, and then let's brainstorm where we're going to go. Because we can't stay at mine. I don't want to stay at mine. Okay, right. I'm going to go ahead and say my house has my shed, which. It's got like fucking jigsaws yeah. and angle Sean's grinders. Sean's already got wood, hammers, nails, all of that stuff. Yeah. yeah, like fucking handyman dad. I've got axes, sledgehammers. Because the handyman dad. Because the handyman okay. dad. Right. You're still in Tesco. Who can build a brainstorm. shed fence? Brainstorm. <coughs> okay. I had another brainstorm. Okay. okay brainstorm. <laughs> I had a brainstorm. I had a brainstorm. Wait. <laughs> you could. You've got bike, right? Uh-huh. At yours. At mine. At Dan's. And I've got a wheelbarrow. We could use... You could makeshift tie the wheelbarrow to the back of the bike and use it to transport equipment to where we need it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I reckon we could give me that. grinders and stuff. Yeah. So and I, I could, like, sort of uh, like jog along behind it. And sort it of making sure it yeah, won't fall yeah. over. Okay. All right. That but... Get rid of the uh, stability issues. So we're staying at your house because it's a smaller house and easier to defend, but we're getting shit from mine. We're getting shit from yours, and then we're going back to mine, but then we're going to go somewhere else. I think we should go somewhere like it's not a small house. Like the pub on the corner that was being ransacked when I went past it. Do you reckon that's better to defend? I want to go to like somewhere cool for the zombie apocalypse. I don't want to be at my house. I mean, house. yeah, you've seen Shaun of the Dead and stuff. You know how many windows a pub has? All that shit. Oh, I guess. At, look, right, we're right next to the fucking reservoir. We are. We could, like... I doubt zombies go up hills very fast. Oh, we, dude, we could build a house raft. Oh, and shit, we can live on no the reservoir. On that. Zombies can't swim. Dude, right. There, okay. is, uh, there is, like, um, sailing clubs up on the reservoir. Okay. So there's, like, uh, stocks of okay. food yeah. and water yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Queen Mary Res. First thing. Okay. High five on that idea. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> okay. Right, let's go to mine. Where are okay, we? Okay, you're, you're still at Tesco. We're at Tesco. Let's go to yours. Uh, you leave the Tesco. Yeah. Are you going to go back the same way you came? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. I saw a lot of zombies walking towards the pub, and that's on our way. Okay. Do you want to go Orchard Avenue? Yeah. Yeah, let's go Orchard well, Avenue. We're not going to explain the way, because it's just like left, right, left, right. Fuck it. It's very weavy through a residential area, as opposed to being main road. Yeah. We need to get back to yours first. Wait. Well, you'll be walking past the reservoir um, on your way back to Sean's, Re- pretty much. Are we, back, are we back at Dan's? No. Right now, reservoir Where is like going? last on our list of things to do. We need yeah. to go to yours to get shit. Then we need to go to mine to drop everything off and see what we've got. And then and transport se- to Red. And set up the wheelbarrow and your bike, because your bike's already at mine. Okay. And then, we, and then, once we get back there, we'll think it through a bit more. Because house raft, 
fucking as brilliant. an idea, a great yeah. idea. We need to sort of think it out a bit. Yeah. Well, we well. don't need a house impossible craft. to implement on the reservoir. There are boats. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of boats. We could just go get a boat. Yeah, push a boat out. Kind of want to want to build a house raft. We don't need to. S- well, yeah, we can extend the boat <laughs> with wood and planks and stuff. Okay, jetties. So are we getting shit from yours? No, we're going to yours first. Get us okay. shit. Okay, because mine's on the way to the reservoir. We can stop okay. off. I need. Yeah, I need to feed the cat. Okay, we need to feed the cat. So. We're going to go back the way we came to Dan's house. Yeah, so yeah. down that road, past Woodlands, yep. and then back towards Dan's. On the way, I was like, oh, do you remember that guy that I considered killing because he was a zombie? Yeah, and then he ran away. Then he ran away. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. He could have been a good addition to our team. Probably. He had a bat and everything. He might have been really good at making boats. Pretty right. good at melee. So uneventful, walking down until you hit Felton Hill Road, and then you see uh, one guy ambling around pretty much in front of Dan's house. Um, in the road. Sean. Okay, let's walk up to him. Mm. No, let's walk. You you let's, yeah, okay. Let's let's walk towards your house. And Take as we go, you. as we get closer, I'm going to be... Mm, you're right. No. Okay, you've said it now. You're right. <laughs> you, you're right. It's literally what happens in Children of Dead. Yeah. It's like... You're right. <laughs> Okay. What does he say? So you, you're on the um, <laughs> you're you're on the pavement, okay. walking towards Dan's house. Got it. There's a few trees. I'm sure you know. I know the trees. There's a couple of trees like blocking you from the road. So you call out, but you're still kind of like behind a tree. You're right. You see him spin around, blood in his mouth, dripping down his face. Fuck it, behind a tree. Uh, scatter, he, he looks over in your direction and starts ambling towards you. Ah! But he hasn't seen you. Okay, right, stay behind the tree. Okay, so first thing I know is slow zombies. That's fucking great. Yeah, we fucking lucked out with yeah. zombies. Man, we could have been so screwed. Fast, Fast zombies. zombies would have killed you instantly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let he's walking towards us. Let's try and do the whole hide behind a tree and then rotate around the tree as he comes past us. There's also some cars parked up. Real quick, there's no tree like that on my road, but okay. Uh, poplar. There is. Start a poplar. Yeah, next to the, I don't know if it's the, a school. The, no, or... the the gypsy uh, green yeah. things. We're getting like, With, like the, there's a corrugated fence. I guess and there's, there's some a tree. Trees there. Yeah, down poplar. That's <laughs> called poplar road because of all the poplar tree. trees. <laughs> but you can't go around the whole tree because it goes into the thing a bit. Anyway, right, great. There's some trees on the road. Okay, great. Yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah. I know the tree you're thinking about. Yeah, yeah, they're the yeah, trees but... that you're okay. next to, and okay. there's some cars parked up on the road as well. That you all right, can very specific behind. tree talk. Anyway, let's try and sneak. We'll skill. do that thing you said. Yeah, sneak, like sneak, go around the sneak. tree, try and get behind the cars, let him walk down the road past us because he's heard noise and he's walking towards where he thought yeah. the noise was. So you, you're crouching and you're kind of walking along the cars that are parked up. Oh, before you, can I throw a rock? Do it. Uh, well, uh, behind you, like. Is he already like sort of walking away? Yeah, he's walking. He's towards walking towards where Sean called out from, from and, we're, and we're moving. Yeah, and you're moving towards your house. Yeah. Okay, great. So we could just bypass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So no conflict. Um, you kind of you flick from one car to an next car. There's like a five feet gap yeah. between them, and he kind of spots you as you move past. Shit. And now he's ambling towards the gap in between the cars. I did say you first, and this is why I said you first. I'm really long. I Dan, can't be Dan is uh, behind the car that you came from, and you're behind the car in front of it. Oi, Dan. And he's coming through the gap. Huh. If only you throw a rock or something. <clears throat> Do you want to throw a rock? Throw a rock. Okay, you throw a rock. Like, like... Wait, down no, the road. What's the thing they throw in um, Lord of the Rings when Pippin throws the thing? A ca- bag of carrots. I'm going to throw a bag of carrots. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that you looted from Tesco. <laughs> Plastic bag filled with carrots. Because fuck perishable food. So I'm going to do that. Okay, you throw that behind you down the road a bit. Uh, his head kind of flicks towards it. Oh. Uh, he's, you know, he's not thinking because he doesn't have a brain, but he's kind of like animal instincts. He's looking to see if there's anything moving. Sean, Sean, go now. Well, you're behind Sean. Is Sean going uh, to uh, move towards your house? Mm. Okay. What more is he? So you kind of. I'm leaving you behind with the zombie. No, I'll be fine. Yeah? Alright, I'm a hero. I'll keep moving up. I'm the hero of the okay. story. You sneak crouch I'm fine. down towards Dan's Can't house. Die. Right stick in, I'm crouching. Yeah, yeah. W- whilst he's uh, <clears throat> the zombie still looking at this bag of carrots, he kind of takes a couple of steps towards the carrots and notices that there's no movement or anything. Kind of glances back towards the cars, can't see anything, and then walks back towards the pub area 
So now he's walking towards where you are. I'm going to stay still. I'm going to get down behind that car and hope he goes past me. Okay. So Dan's maybe like two or three cars behind you. Okay. Still behind the car. So 30 feet behind me. It's fine. You're close enough to communicate with me. Like you are now behind mounts. a car as well. And yeah. the zombie's walking down the road uh, about to pass your car. Just wait. Wait out. Just don't do anything. Don't cough. Don't sneeze. Don't breathe. Don't... Wait it out. Digging deeper just to throw it away. <laughs> yep. We'll, uh, we're singing okay. to ourselves. He keeps walking. Goes past Dan's house. And there is a. The, where's the next turning? The first turning Park after road. your house. Park road. Park road. Yeah. Okay, so he's got a good distance up the road and he starts going down that road. Okay. Because he heard a noise. Mel's gonna get fucked. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> mm. I don't think she lives there anymore. Okay, cool. Zombie context. Yeah. Okay, so. Right, we, we're clean to our house Yeah, now. but now he's gone down that road, and there's nobody else on the road. Clean, move it. Let's go. Back to yours. Sweet. Right. Duck in. Bowl in. Yep, you get in the house. S- start a brew, you know. You've Cup got your bags. Cup of tea. See? Oh no, Kel's pretty loud. <laughs> Let's oh, not do that. <laughs> I think I'm jumping to conclusions. I think we should... We're talking out loud, by the way. Yeah. Can, I, can I ask him if he's a zombie? Yeah, I think you should ask... Put your mouth to the door, like, really close, so if it swung open, it'd hit you in the face. Put your mouth that close, and then ask... Hello, okay, please. I'm going to do it. Well, I'll say, hello. <laughs>